Hello friends, this video will be short and crisp. In this video, I will bust top 7 myths about hair loss or hair fall that I have heard since my childhood. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the Myth number 1. Shaving your scalp or cutting your hair frequently can increase hair growth or make your hair thick. Absolutely false. But surprisingly, there are a lot of people who believe in this. Even many of my friends who are well educated did this without searching about it in the internet or anywhere else to find out the real truth. You see, the part of hair or beard that we can see is composed of dead tissue. The living part of the hair or beard or the hair follicles from which the hair and the beard uh, grows or comes out actually lies beneath our skin, which we cannot see. So, while cutting or trimming or shaving our uh, hair or our beard, we are just dealing with the dead part of the hair shaft or the beard. We are not at all interacting with the living part or the hair follicles. So, you can easily understand that the act of shaving or trimming or cutting your hair does not change anything at all in the hair follicle level. So, do not shave or cut your hair with the hope that this act will increase the amount of hair or increase the growth of hair or increase the thickness of hair or beard in any way possible. So this is absolutely false. This myth is debunked. Now myth number two, we get familial baldness from maternal side of our family. There is a proverb in Bengali which says Noranang Matulokrom. What a shame. It means all the men are alike their maternal uncle. Though there was a scientific thought behind this myth, but I don't think that um, people in our society uh, believes in this myth because of the scientific facts uh, at the back of their mind. I just think that this is just the reflection of the patriarchal mindset of our society. The scientific thought behind it uh, was something like this. Uh, it was believed that a gene called AR gene is the main gene which is associated uh, with hair loss and this AR gene is located in our X chromosome. As all the males get their X chromosome from their mothers, so it was believed that male pattern baldness is inherited from the maternal side of their family. But after various research and studies that are done in recent times, we have found that there are so many other genes that are involved in hair growth or hair loss or androgenetic alopecia or, or male pattern baldness which are not at all present in the X chromosome. Whatever, just simply understand that male or female pattern baldness has got a genetic component linked with it. So it can be inherited from your parents or your relatives. But the chance of getting uh, it inherited is equal for both father and mother. It's never too late. So stop imposing these poisonous beliefs in your next generation. This myth was completely false and it is debunked. Friends, before I go to the next myth, I just want to quickly remind you that do subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload the next video. So now about the next myth. Myth number three, wearing a hat more frequently or for longer duration can cause 
increased hair loss. I heard about this for the first time when I was very young. One of my relatives was uh, suffering from androgenetic alopecia and he started to wear a hat to hide his baldness from the society. And as the time passes on and he uh, continues to lose more hair, he continuously increased the duration of wearing the hat. And after some time, his, uh, once he said to me that uh, I am losing my hair, uh, people are laughing at me, I am using this hat to cover it, but I think that wearing this hat for long duration is making my hair fall worse or making me more bald. Uh, well, the fact is, wearing a hat should not cause any hair loss or should not increase your hair loss because there is no connection. But there is a type of uh, alopecia which is called traction alopecia. So, um, what I can say is, if you wear a hat which is very tight, so tight that it causes a pull, strong pull or attraction to your hair, that in the long run may cause problem or may increase hair loss or may cause alopecia. Another belief is that wearing a tight hat can reduce blood circulation to your scalp which can cause hair loss. So uh, my suggestion will be you can wear hat for whatever duration or whatever frequency you wish but don't wear a hat that is very tight too tight that can cause problem or don't wear a, a hat that is made up of a material that you are allergic to. Now myth number four applying a particular shampoo or lotion or hair oil can reverse your alopecia. Now let me be clear first we are talking about androgenetic alopecia hair or in simple words male or female pattern baldness. We are not talking about alopecia areata where even complete loss of hair from whole scalp can be reversible with treatment. Now in this regard I would like to mention about an advertisement that I saw a few days earlier where a very handsome guy with scalp full of hair was saying mm, few years back I had a huge patch of baldness over my scalp, uh, I wasted a lot of money by visiting so many doctors and so many uh, hair and skin clinics but this solution or this shampoo or this hair oil uh, may, may, made wonders and my life gets completely changed and now I am an established, well established model because of my lovely hair. Oof and blah 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 whatever just forget it. C. Proper medical treatment given by an experienced dermatologist can reverse androgenetic alopecia if uh, the treatment is started at a very early stage of hair loss and there is also a high percentage of people or young male or female who do not at all respond to the medical treatment. So you see, even a proper medical treatment cannot give you a scalp full of hair if you have lost uh, a lot of hair or at a late stage of androgenetic alopecia. At that stage, mm, medical treatments doesn't really work. Uh, in that late stage, uh, patients may need some intervention or definitely need some interventional treatment like uh, hair transplant or something like that. So there is no question of any XYZ solution or hair oil or shampoo can make your scalp look this from this. So don't waste your money and don't waste your time. Don't let yourself get fooled by these wrong advertisements at all. These are all bogus products and by using this you will continuously lose hair as well as your money. So this myth 
is false and it is completely debunked. Now, myth number 5, which says male pattern baldness is associated with um, excessive sexual drive or excessive ejaculation or frequent ejaculation can increase loss of hair. You see, both sexual drive and hair loss are controlled by multiple factors and these two are not at all inversely proportional to each other as some people believe. See, you can think it in this way. Your hair density, your hormonal level and your sexual drive will reduce after a certain age. So, you can easily understand that increased amount of hair loss cannot be correlated with increased sexual drive at all. Now see the act of ejaculation can transiently uh, change or increase your hormonal level but it has no effect on your hair loss at all. At least um, there is no study which says that, that these two facts can be true. So unless there is a revolutionary study comes out which says that these facts are true or these myths are true I will believe and I will ask you to believe that these two myths are absolutely false and completely debunked. Now myth number six which says any kind of stress can cause increased hair loss. See only severe stress can cause increased hair loss which is called telogen effluvium and by severe stress I mean stress during childbirth or stress during a major operation on your body etc. Anything less than that or stresses that we go through every day in our life uh, has nothing to do with increased hair loss. So you can see that this myth is also absolutely false and completely debunked. Now myth number seven which says that washing your hair or shampooing your hair frequently or regularly can increase hair loss. See, washing in the sense of uh, bathing regularly uh, cannot cause increased hair loss or cannot harm your hair in any way. But with respect to shampooing your hair regularly or frequently, then it's a mixed bag. See, if you have a dry scalp or a dry hair, then shampooing regularly can make your scalp or hair more dry which can cause a lot of hair problem like hair breakage or split ends etc. But if your scalp is greasy and very oily then you should regularly shampoo your hair. But whatever the frequency of your shampooing is if you use harsh shampoo or soap that is not recommended by a qualified dermatologist that might be harmful for your hair. So I can say that this myth is uh, partially false or partially true and I cannot completely debunk this myth. So that's it for now. I will meet with you guys in my next video. Till then take care of yourself and bye bye.